Peace, how you doing guys? I'm Trenton Sanderson and you're on the infamous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Now, I want to announce for the month of August that we have a new challenge. Last month we had the one month I'm extremely happy challenge and boy, it was extremely hard. As a matter of fact, I think that I should have created no resistance towards being happy. So I should have took up the word extremely happy. Maybe that's the reason why it was so hard for us to think of being happy. That's something simple. You know, we could have just said one month happy challenge. And then it probably would have been that much more easier for the mind to actually believe that it is that easy to be extremely happy without adding the word extreme. See how resistance works? Resistance. We're on the one month resistance free challenge for the month of August. And this is going to be very, very easy, guys, because I'm going to tell you right now how to be resistance free. What is resistance? For those of you who want to know what resistance is, resistance is when you create a bridge between you and the universe that says, you know what? You don't want to go across the bridge because you're scared that the bridge may fall. But your whole team is over there on the other side. You look at all the reasons why you shouldn't go across the bridge because it looks unstable. It's wobbly. But the fact remains that millions upon millions of people have crossed this bridge and have no one's fell off. No one's died. No one's done anything crazy. But the bridge is really intact. You know, all the ropes have vines on them. The planks in the, in the floor, they, they look unsturdy. You know, they just look like, I don't know if I want to cross that bridge or not because it looks like I'm going to die if I cross that bridge. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to sit over here on this side. I'm going to be in resistance rather than being resistance free and having no resistance. When you resist the things that want to come into your life, you don't go in a straight direction you always go to the side you always have an excuse you always sit back in fear you always say i shoulda i woulda and i coulda but i did it because of this because of him because of her every day you have an excuse every day you're blaming somebody for your life you know why because you're not resistant free remember now guys having no resistance means that you let things flow. For instance, if you forget the urge that you want to cry, but you're saying to yourself, no, I'm going to be Big Bad Joe. I'm going to be the Big Bad Wolf who blows their house down. I'm not going to cry. I'm too big and I'm bad to cry. Well, let me tell you something. You're creating resistance. With your very own feelings, your very own emotional system. Once upon a time, I used to cry a lot. A whole lot to the point that my eyes became bloodshot red and my lip was poking out. And I felt as though I was the victim. Now, was I supposed to be crying that much? Maybe not. But what I did was I began to be aware of how much I was crying. Now, see, that's the thing, guys, I want you to understand about being resistance free. This does not mean allow anyone and anything and anything to happen to you just because you just got to be so in the wind and you just have to be such a naive and gullible person. No, absolutely not. That's not what I'm telling you to do. What I'm telling you is to, of course, be aware, of course, be alive, of course, be an understanding for the things that come into your life. Look at it. Be smart. Be intelligent. Analyze it. Observe it. However, do not shoot yourself in the foot and don't cut yourself short of your own glory by being critical, by having resistance towards something that may help you out. This just may very well be the thing that gets you from point A. To point B, if you have no resistance there. See, the universe that we live in, the world around us, it has a funny, weird, mysterious, remarkable, wonderful way of making everything happen to our own good or happen for our own good. But a lot of people can't see that magic. 
because they resist so many things. They have so many barriers up about what they want to see happen versus what the universe wants to supply you with. You understand what I'm saying? Some people have so many different mindsets up to where they, they can't even see the magic in the life that they live. The very life that they live is for them. Everything goes for their own good. Everything happens for their own good. Everything is on their side. But they resist hanging around this group of people because they're black. They resist going to the store because they think that it's very, very junky. But that very well may be the store that has the product that they want at the price that they want. They resist going on this tourist attraction over here because they believe that if they go to Panama City, Panama City would be too radicalized. They resist being the person who they see themselves in their mind eye simply because they think that people are going to judge them for the type of clothes that they are wearing resistant free is the way to be having resistance only holds you up takes away from you steals from you it destroys your well-being it destroys your self-image it destroys how you see yourself it destroys all the ideas that come into your intuition and say hey bring me to life create me i want to be a great life coach use my mouth to speak Person, you, me, make me into this great person who I see myself as in my mind's eye. That's what yourself tells you all the time. But half of the time we are resist we have resistance towards who we really want to be. Fears, flaws, looking at our past failures, people that did us wrong. We're still living in yesterday. Wake up, guys. It's a new day. Start fresh. Start now. Let's be resistance free. This is the one month resistant free challenge. Let things just flow into your life, guys. Let things just happen and you will see all the magic that life has to offer because God is now. God is not yesterday. He's not tomorrow. He's right now. And if you can open up your mind and if you can open up your heart, you will actually see that what I'm saying is actually true. Okay. I'll see you next time. Trini Sanderson at Living Room Network.